I have nine NPTEL courses with me. Three are beginners, three are intermediate, two advanced, and one programming language that is very long. Skip to the specific timeline based on your knowledge and your preference. In this video, I will tell what is NPTEL and the courses in detail. Skip to this if you are already familiar with the NPTEL. NPTEL is the biggest learning platform where you can learn courses for free after registering. But if you want a certificate, you have to pay for the exam and have to take the exam in the exam center. The fee is 1000 rupees. NPTEL releases twice a year, one from January to June and from July to December. You have to register the exam in the first month or else the deadline for the registering will be over and you cannot learn even it for free. So make sure you register for it. If you are someone from first year or second year or someone who wants to brush up their skills, then these three beginner courses offer you. The first is Digital Electronics. It is a three credit course where you can do it in a very simple way. The course has logic gates, flip flop memory or uh, organization and do remember that digital electronics is a very important subject in vlsa it is continuously asked in interview and also very useful in projects if you neglect this topic then learning about vlsa is just not gonna happen then the second thing is digital electronic and system design I highly recommend you to do these two courses, first is this and the previous one, because as I said earlier, digital electronics plays a very great role in interview and also in projects. If you are really want to pursue VLSA, you must know digital electronics and see, it have covered every topic which you need to know in this area. Number system, binary code, logic gate, shift register, flip flop, multiplexer, demultiplexer, everything. So you must do these two courses. I highly recommend it. The third very important beginner topic is fundamentals of semiconductor devices. This topic is a very must to do. First is digital electronics and second is devices. These two are the fundamental courses for the VLSA. If you don't know any of these two, then you just can't proceed with VLSI degree. So in this course, it have dealt with everything you want to know. The structure, the function of semiconductor, the PN junction, the MOSFET, the BJT, everything which the devices contain. At last, is also talked about LED, and LED is one of the most important topic in devices. So make sure you register for this course. No need to pay the amount. You just learn these three beginner courses for your gain in the VLSI industry. Because in interview, they always ask about questions from devices and from digital electronics and most of the students just neglect it and then they just cannot explain why certain things are happening if you want to know you must do this three courses intermediate course if you are someone from third year or fourth year then this course is for you so the first is cmos digital vlsi design in this it talks about the combinational the sequential circuit clocking strategies here the MOS transistor basic like it is giving you the overview of what is going to happen next like uh, the power analysis this uh, the timing analysis these two are very important based on the project also when you do projects and cadence purchase so you have to know certain things like how power is consumed what are the techniques for it and how we can easily reduce it those topics are like very important in VLSA and then this course is really for you and see here are the prerequisites you must know devices and electronics as i said earlier you have to know this these two things to know any other topic next course is design and analysis of vlsi subsystem see in this it have beautifully covered every other topic that is delay rc stick diagram power static time analysis here is a key tip for interview, STA, that is static timing analysis, is a very important topic. The second is stick diagram. These two topics I have saw in various posts uh, in LinkedIn that people will talk that these two uh, topics are frequently asked to them and they have to solve problems in these topics. So make sure you know STA and stick diagram very thoroughly. The third intermediate topic is VLSI physical design. In this topic, it has beautifully covered everything which you need to know. That is flow planning, placement, routing, 
static timing analysis, again, the design techniques, the test pattern generation, everything. This is a very simple topic, like very easy to know. In one hour, you can know about all of these topics, but I highly recommend to do this course because for the later part, to do projects, these techniques are very much important. For example, when you do projects in Magic or Cadence Virtues or even in Cadence, this plays a vital role for the layout, for the schematic diagram and everything else. So when I was in my third year, I had these topics to go through for the credit points. Make sure you do this course, especially at intermediate level. VLSI physical design with timing analysis and the another topic in advance of course are really important for the MTech and PhD level students. So it have talked about in depth about STA, power consumption, its techniques, combinational circuits, the techniques for power consumption and how to reduce it. And I have talked about everything. You can check out the layout here, the course layout. And at last, it has also given the open source physical design flow that is Qflow. Qflow is a tool which I have came across several times in LinkedIn that people are doing some projects in Qflow. And I don't know how, so let's learn together this topic. And the third, I mean, second in advance is VLSI signal processing. Yes. DSP is a very important topic in VLSI. I mean, we sometimes think that these two are separate, but in reality, DSP plays a major role in VLSI. So make sure you know DSP even a little to understand some certain topics. And this, they have talked about several things. I mean, I'm from final year right now, so I really don't know much in detail about these topics, but it seems important for me. And if you're someone who is already doing your MTech or PhD, I think you might know whether this is an important topic or not. If it is, what is your opinion on the specific course, whether it will be helpful to do or not? Even I'm looking for some advanced courses which I can do. Digital design with Verilog. Verilog is a hardware description language which is used for uh, various projects which can be done in Xilinx, Vivaldo, Cortis Prime Light, and later can be integrated with the FPGA. So I highly recommend for you to do this course. Even I have done this course and it was very easy. If you are uh, at a beginner level, like you don't know anything about Verilog, then this course is absolutely very easy to learn and you get to know everything in detail and even in exam the questions were super easy make sure you check it out and register for it to do or not that is a later cause but register because registering is ending by 27th of january bonus i have five other npl courses available with me so make sure you check that out in the description also i'm in instagram as well as where i'm giving free tips and personalized suggestion on your resume and LinkedIn profile where it can take from zero to above 1k. For more tips, follow values. Fura paro or kudo. Bye.